What's up, Bender fam? Steven and Dylan here from Trailbenders Overland. We just got this sweet new Prinsu roof rack from CBI. It's the full length, no drill, no sunroof with life bar, and we're gonna show you how to install it. Fragile. Must be French. We're gonna start with the wind deflector. I love that everything's so well labeled and organized. So you're gonna grab your bolt, washer, lock washer, and then your T-nut. Put the lock washer on first then the washer, and then the T-nut will be on the very back. You'll end up needing a uh, Phillips screwdriver, but we're gonna do this all finger tight first. And leave it pretty loose, because these T-nuts will end up sliding into this bar. And it looks like they leave you with about two extra of everything, which is kind of nice. So you want to straighten out these T-nuts as you slide this on. Leaving these nice and loose will make it easier to get this on. You can tighten it after. There. Now that the wind deflector is bolted onto this front bar, we can bolt it to the main bars. You're going to grab your crossbar hardware, set it up exactly the same, and then we're going to just screw in the wind deflector. So now we're just gonna finger tighten everything and then we'll tighten it once it gets on to the truck. Now we'll space out all our crossbars so we kind of have a good idea of where we want them before they're actually bolted down. Make sure that your crossbars are facing upwards so that your tie downs can go into the channels. This last bar goes vertically. Now you're gonna grab your foam and put it on the bottom of the wind deflector. So next we're going to place the 3M tape on this little mounting bracket. It's gonna go just like that. We already did it for the other side. Now just go around and make sure all of your hardware is tight. Make sure you don't over tighten it though. So it's taken about 30 minutes to get to this point. All we have to do now is grab the rack, put it on the forerunner, get our markings, cut the weather stripping for the support brackets and bolt everything down. So now you're going to grab your spacers and line it up to the pre-existing holes. Make sure that you prepped your hardware and finger tighten it. So now you're going to grab your L bracket and you're going to place it and line it up with these two holes. Just like that. Make sure you're centered. Get your markings and cut out the weather stripping. And this guy's just gonna sit down just like that. So one thing to mention, make sure that you put silicone around the holes just so it weather tightens everything. You can find it at any local hardware store or AutoZone. All we're doing now is just going to bolt this down. So don't let editing fool you. It took me roughly about three minutes just to get this bad boy off. Now, you're gonna lick it and stick it. 
Now we're just gonna stick the L bracket down. Don't screw it up, Steven. Like an old glove. Prep your hardware. So now you just gotta tighten it up. Pretty much you're done. All you gotta do is just walk around, make sure all the hardware is tightened. Then you got yourself a brand new Prince roof rack on your 2019 Toyota 4R. <laughs> Banger. <laughs> How long did it take to get to this point, do you think? Uh, 45 minutes to an hour. So it's about an hour install, you'd say? I'd say it's safely an hour. That's how you install a Prinsu roof rack on a 5th gen 4Runner. That's 2010 and up. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys have any comments, hit the comment section down below. Also, become part of the Benner fam by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell because we are going to build this thing out and you guys don't want to miss it. This is Steven. Dylan. From Trailbenders Overland. Out. Well, what was that? I don't know, that's what I always do. You always, do that? I always go like this, and then I cut. Oh, <laughs> <I missed> it. <laughs>